Hey everybody, we're in Lamentations still today, and it's a little bit of a longer reading, but I think it's important for us to hear the context. So this is from Lamentations 3. I am one who has seen affliction under the rod of God's wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. Against me alone he turns his hand again and again all day long. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. My soul is bereft of peace. I've forgotten what happiness is. So I say, gone is my glory and all that I had hoped for from the Lord. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul, therefore I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. So maybe some of that was familiar to you. What does it say about us that the only verses we know of a book called Lamentations are the happy ones? about God's steadfast love. Now, I probably, if I'm being honest, I think it's less that we have this strong hope and faith, and it's more that we have a kind of naive, blind optimism, right? Or it's this attitude of, well, let's not dwell on our grief. Let's just ignore it and move on, which also conveniently lets us ignore what may have put us in such a lamentable position. And according to this reading, though, who is it exactly that puts us in these positions? This book puts the blame directly on God. Right? God's hand did this. God is putting me through this. God is making this happen to me. Uh, as I've said before, there are other passages, uh, including most of what Jesus says, that have a more nuanced view of why bad things happen. Uh, but it is a view that's, that's worth thinking about. Um, as I've also said before, God's wrath, as we see it consistently in Scripture, it's not God getting angry, it's God handing us over to what we think we want. Um, God letting us have uh, the consequences of our, our own choices. Uh, that's just a way that God, God built it. And so it's, you could think of it like karma, but it really is the work of God. It's like a law built into the universe. And yet, as Lamentation still says, God's faithfulness and steadfast love are greater. Grace Trump's law. And so, I don't know when it will happen. We may have to wait for things to change, but as long as we can acknowledge what's gone wrong, God can make it right, because God's mercy truly never comes to an end.